So the article I chose to do today is called The Last Call for the XFL by Ben Fisher. On March 20th, the XFL announced an end to their season, but promised to continue to have full seasons in 2021 and beyond. Uh, nearly three weeks after that statement from the XFL, uh, the whole league went down the tube. TV viewership had already been going down from week one to week five. It went down nearly two million views. And uh, Vince McMahon, the league owner, had kept most of the teams in the dark during these this three-week period. So it came as a bit of a shock to everyone around the league. Um, it, it touched on how a new startup league could not compete with the coronavirus, which has changed our way of life for the time being, especially in sports. Uh, but even before the pandemic hit, the XFL had lost $44 million in revenue. Um, basically, in the in the end, like the XFL's second go had some promise with some good on-the-field on play. Uh, with decent ratings, it just wasn't enough to overcome the pandemic uh, and also living in the NFL's shadow. This is important for the sports industry because this is what can happen to leagues who try to challenge the Giants, and uh, it relates to how the sports industry has been taking a beating in general during this whole pandemic. Uh, this can also be applied to any other sports business situation where a new startup league will have trouble during times like these, uh, especially since like competing with a bigger league, for example, is always tough. Um, I could use the Big Three as an example, the Big Three Basketball League, which uh, was supposed to have their season start this summer, uh, but they have currently postponed that, and so we'll see what happens with them, but you never know.